Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for you.com. Today's topic of our discussion is classification of fungus proposed by Ainsworth. At the end of the discussion, you will be able to understand the definition of fungus, history of Ainsworth's classification, classes of myxomycota. We will be discussing with examples and also five subdivisions of eumycota with examples. We will be using examples to explain the characteristics of each subdivisions of eumycota. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. How can we define fungus? It's a special group of organisms that is totally different from plants and animals. Previously we included this group under plants, now we know that it is a separate kingdom. So this is the familiar fungus agaricus, this is yeast, so these are the spores. Let us list out the characteristics of fungus in order to define fungus. Fungus can be microscopic or macroscopic, just like this, microscopic or macroscopic. It is eukaryotic, it is haploid, it is non-chlorophyllated, not green, it is spore bearing, filamentous, heterotrophic as it is non-chlorophyllated, Thallophytes doesn't have a proper differentiation that can reproduce sexually and asexually. So this is the internal structure of fungus. It is having hyphae, extensive hyphae, individual filaments are called hyphae, aggregation or grouping of hyphae forms mycelium. Now moving into the classification proposed by Jeffrey Clark Ainsworth. He first proposed this classification in 1966 as a paper published in a journal. Later he modified the classification and published that in Dictionary of Fungi along with Bisbee which was in 1971, this book. Then the second one which, which is called as the Fungi and Advanced Treaties published in 1973, he also modified the classification. He is probably the first one, the first mycologist to consider fungi as a separate kingdom even though Whittaker classified fungus as a separate kingdom in 1969. Moving into the classification, so he has given the fungus the status of kingdom, kingdom mycota. It is divided into two divisions, myxomycota and eumycota. Myxomycota includes slime molds whereas eumycota are the true fungus. These are the characteristics of myxomycota. They are slime molds. At present it is not included in fungus, it belongs to protista. So myxomycota shows characteristics of both animals and plants. It is acellular, holocarpic and diploid. Holocarpic means the ender thallus becomes a reproductive structure. It is having amoeboid protoplasm without a cell wall, often a plasmodium that is single large multinucleate protoplasm which is called as xenocytic condition. Example is Physarum. And the second one is eumycota or true fungus which is cellular, filamentous, haploid. The diploid stage is represented only at zygote. It may be unicellular or multicellular with a definite chitinous cell wall. And the plant body is having hyphae, individual filaments are called hyphae, grouping of hyphae forms mycelium. Examples include acaricus, penicillium, etc. Now moving into myxomycota. Division myxomycota is divided into four classes. First one is acrasiomycetes. They are the cellular slime molds. They are having a free living assimilatory phase and often forming pseudo plasmodium or false plasmodium. Example is dictyostelium. And the second one is hydromyxomycetes. It's often called as net slime molds. Examples includes labyrinthula. You can see here. And the third class is myxomycetes. They are the true slime molds which is having plasmodium which is saprophytic. Classical example is physar. And the fourth class is plasmodioformycetes which is parasitic inside the host, often parasite in cabbage, then parasites in algae, etc. 
Examples include Plasmodiophora. So these are the four classes of Myxomycota according to Ainsworth. Now, as I said, this group, slime molds, are not included in the kingdom fungi. It belongs to Protista. Innsworth has taken a specific morphological character for classifying Eumycota into five subdivisions. That character is the septation. As you can see, this fungus, as you can see, the filament is having a cross wall. Then it is called a septate hyphae. Hyphae are multicellular with cross walls. So adjacent cells are separated by a septum. Example is agaricus. Whereas in this case, you can see there is a single mass of protoplasm with many nuclei floating. This condition, this multinuclear condition is called a xenocytic condition. That isn't seen in rhizopus. Now moving into the subdivisions of Eumycota. Eumycota is divided into five subdivisions. First one is Mastigomycotina, which is considered as primitive. So let's take an example and we will be using this example to understand the characteristics. As you can see, this is Pythium. Pythium, as you can see, it is aseptate without septa, multinucleate, xenocytic condition. There is no septation in the hyphae. Then there are motile spores, as you can see, asexual reproduction by zoo spores, sexual reproduction by gametangial copulation, there is zoogonium and atridium, and zoo spore is also formed. So these fungus are often called as zoosporic fungus. A flagellated stage is present, which is represented as zoospore. So these are the characteristics. Aseptate sinocytic, asexual reproduction by zoospore, sexual reproduction by gametangial copulation. Examples include Alpico, Pythium, Saprolacnea. Moving into the second subdivision, that is Zygomycotina. The most common example is Rhizopus or bread mold. So we have given a video on life cycle of Rhizopus. You can refer that also. Here you can see. This hyphae is also a septate without septation, therefore xenocytic. Regarding the spores, spores are non-motile. Non-motile spores without flagella often called as aplanospores. Then there is a psychospore formation. As you can see, this is psychosporangia. Inside, psychospores are formed. So sexual spore is zygospore. Now let us summarize the characteristic. Aseptate xenocytic condition, asexual reproduction by non motel sporangiospores, sometimes it is also called as aplanospores, flagellated cells are absent, sexual reproduction by gametangial fusion, psychospore is formed, which is a very resistant spore to extreme environments. Example is rhizopus. Now moving into the third subdivision, that is Ascomycotina. Ascomycotina are also called as sac fungus because ascospores are formed inside this sac called ascus. So now the characters include, as you can see, this is a septate fungus. As you can see, this is a septate fungus. Very well developed mycelium with septation. Then the sexual spores are called ascospores. Ascospores are formed often eight in number that is seen inside the ascus and this fruiting body is called as ascocarp which may be like this which is called as perithesium flask shaped or it can be cup shaped like apothesium or closed like clistothesium. Then asexual spores are exogenously produced non motile spores which is called as conidia. So these are the characteristics of ascomycetes. They are called a sac fungus because the sexual spores, ascospores, are formed inside this sac called as ascus. So these are the characteristics. It is called a sac fungus. Septate, asexual reproduction by non motile gonidia. Flagellated cells are absent. Sexual reproduction by ascospores, often eight in number. Ascocarp may be apothesium, which is cup shaped, perithesium, which is flask shaped, or clistothesium, which is closed without an opening. Examples include Saccharomyces, Penicillium, and Pesaisa. And the fourth subdivision is Pesidiomycotina. In the case of Pesidiomycotina, classical example is Acaricus. It is well developed, having most number of species, 
as you can see the typical spore sexual spore is called as basidiospores that is formed on a club shaped structure which is called as basidium that is why this fungus group is called as basidiomycetes often four spores are formed at the tip of this basidium asexual spores are conidia then there is a special type of septum between these cross walls which is called as tolipar septum now let us summarize the characteristics they are called as club fungus because the basidium is club shaped which forms the basidiospores then it is septate well developed hyphae with dolipar septum a special type of septum asexual reproduction by non motile conidia where asexual reproduction by basidiospores that is formed on basidia examples include agaricus and paxinia which is a parasite paxinia is a parasite that grow that causes wheat rust so we have given the life cycle of paxinia very beautiful complex life cycle you can refer that also and finally the fifth subdivision is called as deuteromycotina so they are called as fungi imperfecti sexual reproduction is absent so they reproduce by means of cornelia this is called as macrocornelia crescent shaped cornelia and this small one is called as microcornelia so they are called as fungi imperfecti as sexual reproduction is absent they are having a well developed septate mycelium with tolipar septum just like basidiomycetes asexual reproduction only by means of cornelia cornelia organized to form certain structures like sporodochia sexual reproduction is completely absent examples include fusarium cercospora etc now let me summarize the classification ainsworth classified kingdom fungi or mycota into two divisions mixomycota and eumycota mixomycota is divided further into four classes acrasiomycetes hydromyxomycetes mixomycetes and plasmodiophoromycetes division eumycota is divided into five subdivisions first one is mastigomycotina which is considered as primitive with three classes then zygomycotina that include rhizopus our common bread mold that is further divided into two classes then the third one is ascomycotina which is further divided into six classes and the fourth one is basidiomycotina which is divided into three classes and finally deuteromycotina which is called as fungi imperfecti or where sexual reproduction is absent that is further divided into three classes so this is about the classification of kingdom fungi proposed by ensford if you find this video useful please subscribe share and like this channel thank you so much for watching you are with biologyexamsforyou.com